Welcome back to our review session. Today we're going to review the curvilinear motion and discuss the rectangular coordinate system. So what is our learning objective today? So today we're going to discuss what is curvilinear motion and how to analyze curvilinear motion using rectangular coordinates. There is different other two coordinates, normal tangential or uh, and um, cylindrical or polar coordinate system. But today we're going to focus only on the rectangular coordinate system. And then we're going to solve uh, a problem. So what is curvilinear motion? It is the motion along a curved path. Motion is not along a straight line, but a curved path. If you see on the image on the right here, if you have a particle that is moving along this curved path, that can be a uh, position can be of that particle at any instant can be represented by a position vector r um, so this is a vector r of any time uh, or a specific time presented in position vector r now if we have that how can you find the velocity again if you take the first derivative you'll get the velocity same concept if you take the second derivative uh, of the position r or first the derivative of the velocity you can get the acceleration one thing on this part is that what will be the direction of velocity um, you know that velocity is always tangent to the position um, uh, tangent of the position curve or tangent of the path so that's why we call the direction of the velocity is tangent to the path and the direction of acceleration is tangent to the hodograph. And what is that? So again, it is simple to understand what is the direction of the velocity at any point. Any point on the path, this is the path. Any point on the particle, if you take the first derivative, the tangent will be the direction of the velocity. What would be the direction of the acceleration? The acceleration direction is not tangent of the path. It is tangent of the velocity so if you can plot another plot like this um, velocity at any time velocity and a sudden change delta time change there's another velocity change and then the acceleration direction will be tangent of that v uh, velocity curve not the path and that's why we call it that uh, the direction of acceleration is tangent to the hodograph. Um, it is, hodograph is the vector is representation of um, of a, of an entity. Um, here, vector representation of the uh, velocity. So, rectangular coordinate. Often, you'll see that um, the curvilinear motion is best represented in um, rectangular coordinates. Um, in that case, um, for example, the position with respect to time is defined in x, y, z um, function. And um, easier to represent it in this format. And then we will use rectangular coordinate um, in that scenario. Um, and how to deal with that? We know that velocity is, again, the first derivative. So if you have the position vector, if you take first derivative of that, how you do that, you take each direction separately and take derivative with respect to time. So dx with respect to dt, it will be i direction. And um, it's a unit vector i. And dy over dt, unit vector j. And dj over dt, unit vector k. It's the same as uh, you have learned in previous classes um, uh, using vectors. So what would be the magnitude of the velocity. If you have that, you can just take a square root of each of those terms. So vx is the dx over dt, vy is the dy over dt, and vz is the dz over dt. Similarly, if you take the acceleration, if you take the second derivative um, of the position or first derivative of the velocity. So first derivative of the velocity term here, vx, vy, and vz, or second derivative of the position, you can get the acceleration. That is all um, about rectangular coordinate system built on the concept that we have already learned. 
Um, again, you to find the magnitude, you can just take each term, take a square, um, and then sum, and take a square root, you'll get the magnitude of the acceleration. So let's solve a small fundamental problem, and um, we will move forward. So assume that a particle motion is best described in this format. So for a changing time, the coordinate, x-coordinate, is changing this equation with change in time uh, the y coordinate is changing using this equation and when the time is changing your position z is changing this way so it is a rectangular coordinate system uh, we have to find the velocity and acceleration at t equals to two seconds so this is t and assume that this is a meter unit or feet um, so how do we solve this problem first uh, we have to see it's a x, y, and z coordinate, so which is a um, rectangular coordinate system. And it is curvilinear motion problem. How do you know? Because um, it is curve, third order, second order derivative, second order polynomial. I mean, so that's why it's a curve, curve not a straight line. So how do we solve this problem? Um, Hence, you know that the, the by definition, velocity is the ds over dt, and acceleration is dv over dt. So we'll just do that, and using the formula in previous slide, vx will be the first derivative of x with respect to time. If you take the derivative, similarly, take first derivative of this one, 1.5 into 2t, and first derivative of this equation, you'll get this one. We're asked to find what will be the velocity at t equals to 2. You have to plug 2 in all this format. And then when you have all this, take a square and then some square root, you will get the answer, 8.55 meter per second. So what you have to do, take your time, do this all the steps that I just said verbally by yourself and check your answer. Similarly, acceleration will come the same way. Take the second derivative of this functions or first derivative of these functions and you'll get this ax ay and az this will be az and then plot t equals to 2 and then you'll take a square root and you'll get your answer a equals to uh, 5.82 meter per second square here it will be square meter per second square um, so this is our answer um, we will solve more problem in our class. If you have any question, again, um, comment or ask in class. Uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.